We have Hurricane Matthew at a Category 4 still, and it's making its way right toward the gap between Jamaica and Haiti. Now, Haiti is preparing for this. There's already been casualties involved with this. Jamaica seeing severe flooding already, and this is just the outer bands of this storm that's coming through. And as you can see here, the winds at 140, the pressure at 940, and it's moving north at 6 mile an hour. Now, Haiti, for those that don't know, has been reeling ever since the last disaster that it had, and people are still living in tents in this area. See the current wind speed here off of this. And the thing is this, is if it does not make direct landfall, Haiti, Jamaica, it's going to stay over the water. It's definitely going to clip eastern Cuba, and then it's going to make its way into the Bahamas. Still going to be hurricane status. When it gets over the Bahamas, I think that they'll have a better track as to exactly which way this is going to head. Once again, we have a high that is sitting here, high pressure, that is holding this up against the east coast. We also have another one that sits right here, kind of pushing it over this way. So we're going to have to wait and see in the next couple of days if this high up here pushes off to the northeast. And if it does, that potentially will allow this to stay off the coast. But all the models they have right now have it heading to a very close hit on the coast of the Carolinas at some point. It may not be at 140 mile an hour, but it still could be at 110. They're expecting out of this system copious amounts of rain. And like I said, you can see here the bands that have already hit around Kingston, Haiti here, all the way up into the Bahamas, what they're expecting. And the storm forced wind probabilities along the path. And I'll also leave a link here so you guys can check out some of the footage of the wind. And here's a shot of families being loaded in the C-17A Globemaster aircraft for evacuation. And really, it's just beginning for these people up here as this storm moves its way in. So they're saying it's going to dump lots of rain. The flooding has already started. And like I said, we're really going to have to wait until about midweek to get a beat on where this thing's going to be. They're expecting it to be on the coast. Whether it makes a direct hit or off the coast by 30 miles, I mean, it makes a big difference. All of that by this weekend. But they're bracing down here, and really, the timing of all this is everything. And if you live in these areas, like I always say, have a plan. You've got to have a plan. A stockpile of food, water, medicine. And all that stuff because you don't want to get caught without it. But that is a look here at the forecast and the projected paths as of right now. And your know, prayers going out for anyone caught up in this. But really, if you're living in this kind of a plane where hurricanes are always coming through, you got to have a plan for that. I can't stress that enough. I will continue to update on this as things change. Also, make sure to follow me on Twitter because I'm putting out exclusive videos over there as well as on my backup channel on YouTube, uh, Jay Knight. You'll find exclusive videos going out both those places. And also make sure to check out our recent sponsor here at the Essential Drugstore. I'll leave links. It's been Dabu7. Peace.